Hey everybody, Robert Rambles here, and welcome back to New World. Uh, I'm standing up at the dungeon entrance for the Amrine Excavation because I thought we were going to be able to do this today. I've spent the last two days uh, with a decent chunk of time each day just kind of spamming for a group. And yeah, it's not happening. <laughs> That's the easiest way to put it. And like sometimes I get invited to a group and there will be like a one person that's like level 56 and then there will be like three people that have no idea why they're in the group. And then obviously that's not a group that's going to succeed at doing anything and if it does it's not going to be doing it the way that I want to do it. Uh, which is that I don't want a high level character just kind of blowing us through the dungeon. I'm not interested in a boost or being dragged along through the content. I want to do this like the game would intend with an actual group of players who also want to do it. Uh, but that hasn't happened, guys, and it's been a couple days of me looking for a group. And I'm not sure if it's because of the population on my server. I'm not sure if it's because like the main group of levelers are way past this and there isn't a second group of levelers getting to this, you know, the way that we are. I, I don't know what it is, uh, but I will say this. We're not going to get much further in this game if we can't do the main story quest. Like right here, if you look at my chat for recruitment, somebody who is level 56 is looking for group for a, the same dungeon that we're trying to do at level 25. And I, I want to understand why. I also, part of me, can't believe there's a good reason for it. And yeah, so that was one of the groups I ended up in, was with, with someone who's a level 56. Uh, which, if that's the only way I'm going to be able to do, do the dungeon, I would rather just not be able to do the dungeon. Uh, because, again, that's not the experience that I want <clears throat> out of this game or out of any game. Uh, to be quite frank. So, yeah, that has me a little bit worried. And normally, guys, I would do my spamming looking for group off of recording, but I really want you all to understand that I do want to do this dungeon. I am looking for groups for this dungeon, and it's just not happening. And not only am I not finding a group, but like watching the recruitment chat, nobody else is really looking for a group either. Except for random level 60 people who sh shouldn't really need it. Maybe they're going in there to farm resources. I I'm not sure what it could be. But it doesn't help us get a group together. So we have a couple other quests we could work on that I grabbed from the faction board. Um, and we still need to head back out to take on this part three of the long chain quest we were doing where we had to kill a named enemy and a giant alligator. And we didn't get that done last time, so we could work on that. Uh, but all that being said, I'm going to get rather bored with the game if we don't get to progress the main story. Uh, which is not what I want, because I do enjoy my time in New World. But at this point, guys, it's kind of out of my control. It's kind of out of my control. We are looking for a heart gem. Oh no, that's not the right quest. We are looking for... Kisare the Taskmaster. Kisare the Taskmaster, who is marked on the map as being right here, but probably is not going to be anywhere near here. Here we go. Looking for more Amarine. Need orb. What orb? Do I know what orb they're talking about? Because we have a quest to do the dungeon. I shouldn't need anything else to do the dungeon if I have the quest that sends us in there to do it. We have our Azoth staff. Maybe, some, maybe I'm missing something. One of you guys can surely tell me what the hell the orb is. I'd love to have the orb. If having the orb gives me a better chance of doing the quest, then yeah, sign me up for the freaking orb. And where do I get it? Why don't I already have it? Why do I have a quest to do a dungeon 
If if in order to do that dungeon, I have to have an item that I don't have yet before having the quest to do the dungeon. Need orb. Yeah, they need the orb. Whatever this is. I'm <laughs> I guess I'll look it up. I hate having to look stuff up or go outside the bounds of the, the, the confines of the game to find stuff out that seems like critical information the game should let you know. It's really possible that the game did let me know and I missed it. I remember it telling us we needed the Azoth staff to go into the dungeon. I don't remember anything about an orb. And yeah, we also can't find uh, whoever the hell this is that is like marked to be right here, but you know, isn't here. And yeah, so sorry guys, I'm a little bit frustrated today because like I said, for the past couple days, all I've really wanted was to do this dungeon and be able to move on with the main story, find out some cool new lore. Maybe get to see a new area pretty soon, but none of that seems like it's going to happen for us. And yet another quest in this area that I'm probably not going to do. All right, uh, we're getting out of this area. I don't know what's going on with the Taskmaster. Maybe they're up here in the actual temple. I, I don't know at this point. We could go take a look. I really don't want to fight all these guys with the terrible respawn rate. We're just going to end up fighting them like three or four times anyway. So let's just run up here and we'll chain everybody. And we'll just kind of see like who we end up with uh, when this when this run is all over. Alright, so this is the temple proper, even though the marker on the minimap is nowhere near the temple, the, the words in the in the quest say the temple. So we'll, we'll go to the temple, we'll give it the benefit of the doubt, and we will look around in the temple to see if we can find this taskmaster. Alright, let's run over here and let's see who we've got. Alright, seems like we got quite a bit. Probably one of the more ridiculous things we've done in the game so far. Well, there we go. We, we fought about seven or eight guys, so even if we never get to do a dungeon, at least we had like one semi-epic pull. Now that we know we can do that kind of thing, uh, there's probably no reason why we shouldn't just do that more. Uh, let's see, are you the person that we need? Are you the Taskmaster? No, you are Alistar the Vigilant. And that's not who we need. Cool. Oh, we've pulled, we pulled him too. I thought we were just going to get the three up here, but we've apparently pulled all of them. He's flinging some purple orbs at us from back there that are probably really bad. 
We've got respawns out here already, if you can believe that, and I know you can. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't matter how fast we kill stuff, or how skilled we are, or how lucky we are, it doesn't matter. Because as soon as you kill something in this game, five minutes later, or five seconds later even, it just respawns on top of you. And yeah. Awesome. I am not even sure what I want to do next, if anything. Uh, all I can think is let's just go in a different direction here. Uh, we can go do the same quest we've already done, obtain, obtain flint and bulrush heads. We've basically, we've basically already done this. Pretty sure we've already done this. But why not go do it again? Nothing else is really working out. Yeah, I mean, between the orb and just, like, people not really looking for a group for this dungeon, I, I don't know if this is ever going to happen. And I'm incredibly disappointed at that thought. It doesn't feel good to have progress through a narrative stopped uh, because we can't find a group to do a dungeon. In a game that doesn't really give us any tools to get a group together, besides just spamming the chat, and then on top of that needing this additional item... Before anyone will even want you in a group. Like, if you don't have whatever the orb is, it doesn't really seem like anybody wants you. So we have some kind of attunement to a dungeon that I have to complete to progress the story. But that if I can't find any other players, I can't complete it. And this is where, like, a looking for group tool really helps you out when you want your dungeons to be mandatory you need to have a looking for group tool. And then so that later waves of players can actually find groups, you have to have a way for higher players to be incentivized to run those dungeons and not at their higher level. They should be scaled back to the appropriate level for the dungeon so they're not just pulling people through uh, because then you get boosting where people are paying for runs, paying to be run through dungeons over and over again, uh, you can see either Retail WoW or Classic WoW for an example of how bad boosting can get. So that's not the answer either. But you need to you need to give us something. There needs to either be a looking for group tool, or there needs to be a way to do it solo. Or, uh, here's a big thought, maybe you just don't tie your main story progression into a dungeon. That's an interesting thought. If you don't want to have a looking for group tool and you don't want to have a way that it makes sense for higher level players to do that older content in a way that it's not going to negatively impact the experience of the person who's at level, then you can't tie your story progression into the dungeon. It just doesn't make sense to do that. Collect steel strikers. Okay. Steel strikers. From these guys.
Okay, are we not looting them? Or are we just leaving the loot on the ground? Is that what we're doing? I don't see the loot. Do they only have a chance to drop it? Really, I'm not sure if these enemies are supposed to be dropping the item or if we're looking for chests that have the item and the enemies are part of a different quest. But I guess we're about to find out. Because we have a chest here. And if, if it has the item, that means these guys don't have the item. Which means we need them for a different quest that I'm not currently tracking. Okay, that didn't do it. Okay, they do drop it, but it's not a 100% chance. Okay. That might be the first time I've seen that, where the drop rate seems pretty low. I've kind of always felt that all the drop rates were 100% before now. Is that something that got changed, or have I just not been paying attention? Because, yeah, prior to now, anytime we've been told to kill something and loot it, it's dropped the loot 100% of the time. And honestly, at this point, by making the drop rate not be 100%, you're just making me kill more of the same enemy model that I've been killing for the past uh, 25 hours or so. Which is not great. Oh look, you guys are back up again. That's great. That's great. We just killed you, but you're back again. Because of course you are. Because things can't stay dead for more than five seconds in New World. Have I mentioned how much I hate the respawn rate in this game? Have I mentioned how it kind of ruins exploring the world for me? Like, so often I will decide not to go into a building or not to go into an area because I know that by the time I clear my way through the building or through the area and I want to go out, I'm going to have to fight everything again. And that's if it doesn't respawn right behind me and if I don't have to fight it twice in a row. Yeah, I really feel like somebody went into the game and they took the drop rate for all the drop of this quest and they scaled it way back. Which can definitely make a game longer, but it certainly doesn't make it enjoyable. Okay, we have three out of six. That missed him somehow, because the ability does not like how that we are on an elevation that is higher than the ground. Apparently even the abominations here can drop them. We might as well fight him for like a change of pace.
Okay, one more. Okay, let's run back up to the teleporter and we'll just teleport back to town. I don't think we have anything else that we can do over on this side. And yeah, what will we do after that? I really don't know, guys. And yes, I am aware that makes for some pretty boring content, but uh, this episode was more just to show you guys that I am looking for a group that I really would like to do the dungeon, but also presenting you with some of the problems that I'm having. Uh, in that process so that you can see the problems and it's not just me saying in comments, hey, I can't find a group. We can all actually see that effort is put into finding a group and no group is being found. And like traditionally in an MMO, like in any MMO I've played, if you're willing to tank or heal, usually it's pretty easy to find a group. Maybe this game has more tanks than it does healers or something of that nature that I'm just not aware of. Maybe everybody is tanking. And maybe that's the problem. I guess I'm just going to go back here for now and turn in the quest that we just completed. And yeah, we'll kind of come up with a plan from there. I mean, like I said, I really don't know how much more I'm going to want to run around and do these side quests. You pick any zone and we've basically explored and quested everywhere and anything at this point is just going to be duplicate quests uh, that we've already done. And fighting the same enemies that we've been fighting the entire game kind of makes that even worse. Now if each of these four starting zones were really unique and had their own, you know, enemies and their own storylines and interesting enemies and creatures and things we could find that were unique, uh, then that might be a different experience, but it's all pretty much the same. You got everything. All right, yep, then. we clicked on all the things. We will collect our minuscule amount of experience. Oh, we have a broken hatchet, which is fine. It's fine because we can do that. Uh, we can repair the hatchet. And there we go, our hatchet has been repaired. Let's break down some of this stuff. Break down the fire staff, we don't need it. And yeah, you, you guys get the picture. I, I'm going to keep looking for a group. What I'm going to do is every day I'm going to sign on during prime time. I'm going to devote a half hour to 45 minutes to simply looking for a group while I do other things. And if I can find a group to do the dungeon, we will proceed. We will move forward with the playthrough and we'll continue with the story. If like a week goes by and I can't find a group, uh, I don't know, guys. I don't know. There are things I enjoy about this game a lot. There are things about this game that I can't stand. The, the tipping point is going to be if, if the game stops me from progressing with the story... I'm not going to have much of an impetus left to continue playing. Uh, I value my time quite a bit. And I don't want to spend it running in circles doing minuscule side quests while I have a main quest that's sitting there waiting at the whims of other people who are no longer interested in doing the content that I need to do to progress. I can't blame them. It's not their fault. It's the fault of the developers to not have put in some kind of system to find a group more easily. Or something to incentivize higher level players to come back with some kind of level scaling to do the content as well. Uh, there are solutions, but we're not going to be able to enact any solutions today. I'm going to go ahead and stop here, guys. 
Sorry for this one, but yeah, like I said, I wanted to at least get on here and show you guys that I'm looking for a group and talk about some of the things that's going on. And obviously some of the frustrations I'm having with the game so far. Some of them I've been very vocal about, like the respawn rates, uh, the boring enemy types, the repetitive questing. I mean, none of that is new to anybody who's played. None of it is new to anybody who's seen any reviews about the game. But it's a game that I want to see more of. It's a game that I enjoy enough to keep playing if the game lets me play it. And right now that hinges on group content. So yeah, I will stop my complaining there for the evening. And that's the plan. I'll keep looking for a group. And if we find one, we will be back here with a dungeon video. And if we don't find one, I will have an update for what that looks like as well. Thank you guys so much for joining me today. I really have appreciated all the support you've shown the series. I can't say how much it's meant to me that you guys choose to be here and hang out with me in Eternum and in other contents. Let me know your thoughts. I do want to hear from you. Until next time, take care of yourselves and each other. Bye for now.